expert groups. There are hundreds of them advising the European Commission on virtually all areas of policy making, from research, environment, health to employment issues. The Commission legitimately relies on this important outside expertise. But who sits on these groups? Which interests are represented? How are potential conflicts of interest situations tackled? What are they deliberating? I've already made several suggestions on how to make the work of expert groups more transparent and the Commission has made great progress. But more can be done. For example, by giving even more information on what advice is being given and by whom. Shedding light early on in the legislative process helps to prevent any concerns about undue influence later on.